Don't wait for the inspiration, trigger inspiration. Now, if you are a content creator and you struggle with getting inspired, right? You, you wanna produce videos, you wanna create a piece of writing, but you just don't feel that inspiration coming to you, then you have to watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna help you to find that inspiration and it's a little bit counterintuitive. So this video is probably not what you're gonna expect, but it's gonna help you to find that inspiration when it really matters. I always tell people that you cannot wait for the inspiration and you have to trigger inspiration. Now, what I mean by this is that if you simply wait for the inspiration to do what you have to do, whether it's create a piece of content, maybe you wanna write something, maybe you're writing a book or a blog post, or perhaps you wanna make a series of videos, then the chances are you will never get it, right? Often people wait and wait and wait for that one day or some day to come when they're gonna feel fully inspired to do whatever it is that they have to do. And very often that inspiration doesn't come. So what you have to do is you trigger inspiration by doing what you want to be doing, okay? I know it may sound a bit counterintuitive, so let me explain. Recently, I talked to Steven Pressfield, who is a best-selling author, and in case you don't know him, you gotta check him out. He wrote almost 20 different books. He's actually one of my heroes, one of my favorite authors of all time. And the crazy thing about Steven Pressfield is that he published his first novel 27 years after starting his writing career for the first time. It's crazy, so imagine this, you, you write for almost three decades and you publish your first novel only after all that time crazy so so he was battling with a lot of resistance you know he kept pushing in spite of failure he got a lot of rejection in his life but he just kept going he kept showing up and once he published his first novel called the legend of the bagger vance obviously you know you probably know it it, it it hit it big they made a movie out of it and afterwards he published a lot of other books but what steven says is that in spite of the difficulties in spite of all of those challenges he kept working he kept honing his craft he kept putting in work and he kept embracing the process. So what he says is that a lot of people give up because they feel like, well, if I don't feel inspired, I have to wait for that one day. You know, one day it's gonna strike me and I'm gonna feel like sitting down and writing or standing up and making videos like this one. But he says that it doesn't work like this. Instead, you have to say to yourself, okay, I may not feel inspired. I may not feel at my best, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to embrace the process and I'm going to do what I have to do every single day, no matter what. And when you do that, guess what? You know, sometimes you will not be happy with the results, but what matters is that you are getting experience. You are putting in the work. You know, you know in front of yourself, when you look in the mirror, you know that you are putting in so much effort and that builds your confidence in your abilities. It builds your competence as well, right? You gain more skills, you get, gain more insights, you learn more about yourself and about your craft and this is exactly how Steven Pressfield managed to publish all of those best-selling books is because he kept putting in the work no matter you know, whether he felt inspiration or not it didn't matter he just kept going after it and I'm sharing this with you because I, I meet a lot of people who tell me hey Jimmy I want to build an online course or I want to create that blog or I want to write that article I want to do Instagram videos whatever it is or have a YouTube channel but I just don't feel inspired you know I I, I want to wait for that moment when one day I'm gonna wake up and feel like now I'm ready to get in front of the camera I, or I know exactly what I want to write about but it's kind of a cautionary video because if you wait for that moment you may just end up waiting for a year two five years in your entire life that moment may never come you get inspired by doing the damn thing so one example you know, of us being here. Right now we are on this beautiful island of La Palma. You can see the B-roll. It's really, it's a, it's a tremendous island. I uh, highly recommend you coming here. So even though it's a very inspiring place, when I woke up today in the morning, I felt really bad, right? My neck was hurting, didn't sleep too well, had a lot of work yesterday. Quite frankly, I didn't feel in the zone of being in front of the camera making those videos. But then I said to myself, come on, Jimmy, you gotta walk your talk. You always keep saying that you cannot wait for the inspiration. You have to trigger it by doing the damn thing. So why don't you listen to your own advice and do the damn thing? So guess what? Decided to change my state. I went for a long run, right? Got some ox oxygen to my lungs, right? Get some, get some energy going. And then afterwards came here, we met up with Eduardo, we prepared the equipment. I still wasn't feeling 
that good. I still wasn't feeling in the zone, but I reminded myself that you don't get in the zone by waiting for the zone. You get in the zone by doing what you have to do. So I already assumed that the first video may not be the best, but I'm just gonna embrace it mechanically. Just stand here and, and start making this video and then see what happens. And interestingly, this is actually the first video of the day that I'm making. And I can already sense that it's good enough to be published. First take of the day. Now, if you asked me a few hours ago, will you be able to make this video on the first take, right? Make it, make it really decent. I would have said, no, there's no way because I wasn't feeling in the zone. But again, just because you don't feel in the zone right now, doesn't mean that you will not feel in the zone one or two or three hours from now. But the only way to get in the zone is by triggering inspiration. And you trigger inspiration by doing the damn thing, doing whatever it is that you need to do. So if you are some type of content creator, maybe you wanna create a blog post, maybe you wanna write a book, perhaps you wanna make videos like this one, please don't wait for the inspiration, trigger inspiration, create some type of ritual, create a routine, right? Set yourself a daily standard where you know that every single day you owe those things. It doesn't matter how you feel, every single day you have some designated time where you simply do what you know you have to do, you embrace the work. And here's the thing, you may not get tremendous results right away, right? You may be doing what you, what you feel like you have to do, you may not get the results that you want to get, but if you are consistent, then your experience will keep building up, right? You will stack those experiences on top of each other, you will gain more skill, you will gain more understanding of your craft, and eventually you realize that, wow, I keep getting in the flow state. It just comes to me like this, because you will get good at it, right? Whatever, whatever you embrace, whatever you do on a daily basis, you end up becoming good at. I don't care if you think you don't have a talent for something. You may, you may want to make videos like this. You may think that you are not a great presenter. I tell you what, if you keep practicing every day, you will get good. There is no doubt about it. You know, I know people out there who used to say, oh, I, I can't learn languages because they don't have a talent for it. And now they speak five languages. I know people who said, I hate maths. I just don't understand maths. And now they are engineers. I know people who said, I'm not, never going to travel. I'm afraid of flying. And now they travel all over the world. I met people who said, I'm making money. I'll never make money. You know, my family is poor. I'm poor. I, I don't understand money. And now they are filthy rich, okay? So anything in life is a skill, right? I feel like talent is overrated, but skill comes only from hard work. So, you know, I may sound a bit preachy now, I may be going on a rant a little bit, but I feel like if, if you search for this specific video, my, the chances are you probably need it, right? The chances are the reason you were searching for this type of video is because you have been procrastinating and resistance has been slapping you in the face and you want to do certain things, but you can't get yourself to do it. Well, I do hope that this video is like a wake up call like this little push, right? Little piece of inspiration that, that, that will motivate you to go wilder and do what you know you have to do. So if you're watching this on Instagram, make sure to follow me. If you're watching this on YouTube, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell notification as well, because the thing with YouTube is that nowadays, if you don't click on the bell, they won't even show you my videos, okay? So if you like this video, as you can see, I'm not selling anything here. I just want to provide you value. If you want to see more of those videos, click on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I publish a new video. So here we go. Hope that you got inspired. Hope that you got a lot of value from it. Thank you so much. It's Jimmy Narain and I'm going to see you in the next video.